Welcome back to the channel. This video is a digital art time lapse. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. If you like and share, I'll give you a cookie. With that, on with the video. So, I've decided to spruce up the structure of my videos, and instead of simply giving a brief introduction, I'm going to talk about digital art and give you guys an insight into exactly what I'm doing. Today, I'm going to talk about getting started in digital art. Now, quick disclaimer, I am not a professional artist by any means, but I still feel like I have some useful advice to give. With that out of the way, the first thing we're going to talk about is drawing tablets. Digital art tablets come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and most importantly, prices. There are two main types of drawing tablets, pad tablets and graphic tablets. Pad tablets tend to be on the less expensive side of things and comprise of a pad, a blank plate on which you draw upon with a digital art pen. This tablet gets plugged into the computer and allows the user to draw. I myself have one of these pad tablets, a Wacom Intuos Pen and Touch Small. This is a great tablet for beginners, trust me. It's got a low price but it still has important features like programmable buttons and pen pressure. As you move up the price range, you begin to notice extra useful features in these drawing tablets like for example pen tilt. Finally, you get to the quite expensive tablets, and these tend to be graphic tablets and graphic computers. Graphic tablets comprise of a fairly large screen and sometimes have programmable buttons on the side. The program appears on the screen after being plugged into a computer. Graphic computers are similar to graphic tablets in this aspect, but don't require to be plugged into a device like a PC or phone because they have the programs and software built into them. Something to note is that drawing tablets often come with a pen or stylus, but if not, these are really easy to acquire online. Now hopefully you have a slight understanding about drawing tablets. Next comes drawing programs. I use a free digital art program called Critter. Critter is great. It has that quality and professionalism that only really comes with paid programs like Photoshop and Paint Tool Sci, but is intuitive and fairly easy to learn. Another popular free program is GIMP. I've never used GIMP myself, but I've heard that it's pretty okay. Links for both of these will be in the description.
In the next video, I'm going to talk about getting to know Critter and the fundamentals of learning digital art. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you actually get updated for the next video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!